Here's one of the kindest creatures you might ever meet. His name is Pai de Limon, or Lemon Pie. Members of an organized crime group in Mexico cut off his front legs. The people here say it was practice for what the gang wanted to do to humans. Lemon Pie's life was saved and transformed here at Milagros Caninos, or Canine Miracles. Patty Ruiz is the founder of this sanctuary for abused dogs. She created it after her own pet died in an accident. The idea here is to give them one last opportunity, or perhaps the only opportunity these dogs will get in their lives to know what love is. We name all the dogs here after foods. The reason is simply because, despite all they have suffered, they are survivors. They are food for the soul. That's why they're all named after food. The majority of them suffered at the hands of cruel humans. They are victims, but now they're happy dogs. We give them several kinds of therapy, including petting and playtime. And we give them names so that each one has its own identity. They are part of the great family here at Canine Miracles, and our mission is to give them a good life, which other humans try taking from them. Canine Miracles is kept alive through donations. We count on the goodwill of people whose donations allows us to give the dogs this quality of life. Around 300 dogs now live and play here in the green gardens of Reese's family property located in the outskirts of the Mexican capital. A few of these dogs, the healthier ones, will be put up for adoption, but the vast majority, because of their health conditions, will remain here for the rest of their lives. Their suffering is over, and they're now free to wag their tails and bark as happy dogs do. Canine Miracles has been operating now 10 years, and it will stay around as long as possible because, unfortunately, cruelty against animals will not disappear. Yes, cruelty exists, but lucky for Pai de Limon, so does kindness. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.